The first stage of any program is setting up the environment in which your game will operate. Because this is a mobile phone game, we're going to be focusing on portrait resolutions. And a portrait resolution, is the Y resolution, is larger than the X resolution. So if we quickly look at setup, you'll notice that the width is 320 and the height is 480. And when we briefly run this game, you'll see you get this sort of elongated rectangle. Now, the biggest problem that users will face when writing a game for mobile devices is that every single brand of phone and different manufacturer will have their own unique resolution for their mobile phone. So, you've either got to write dozens and dozens and dozens of, of the same game for a vast variety of different phones, or you need to find a way of compensating for this. And this is where App Game Kit Set Virtual Resolution comes in. So if we type in Set Virtual Resolution, and we give it the size of 320 by 480, then what you are doing is establishing a fixed size canvas. And uh, now what App Game Kit will do is automatically scale and alter your game as required to fit these various mobile phone manufacturers while maintaining the same aspect ratio. So if you have any particularly strange screens that are very elongated or very, w or very wide, then you may experience some banding across the top and bottom of your application. But App Game Kit will preserve the aspect ratio of your graphics, so you won't end up with a situation where all the models appear stretched twice as long as they do on other mobile phones. Now, for those of you who don't necessarily understand what um, the canvas is, uh, the best way I can think of showing you is with an image editor called GIMP. Now, you'll notice we've got a big blue area here, and you'll also notice we've got some numbers that are constantly changing in the lower left-hand corner of the edit window. You'll also notice that across the top here, we've got an arrow sliding, and across the side here, we've got an arrow sliding. So basically, we start at point zero, and if you look um, down there, towards the corner, you will find that you can just about get zero, zero, if you're very accurate. So there we go, we've got zero, zero. So that's the exact corner of the screen. So if you set a sprite or image or anything to zero, zero, then you will basically um, be putting it in the upper right hand, uh, sorry, the upper left hand corner. Whereas if you go all the way down to the corner here, we'll have the same resolution, more or less, which is 320 by 480. So that's the maximum resolution. And you'll notice that matches the resolution we've typed in. Now, if you want to go um, from left to right, then basically all you do is increase your movement from the left towards the right. And as you can see, the number increases. So if we want to go completely to the, um, the right of our canvas, then all we do is we type in 320, 0, 0, and that will be the coordinate for that. Whereas if we want to go to the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see, it will basically go... There we go. So we now got the bottom left-hand corner, and that is now 0 and 480. So what we're basically saying is uh, we've got um, 320 columns this way, and uh, 480 rows down here. Now, of course, they're all pixel size, so the cells are very, very small. But you can basically plot any single position on your screen by mixing these values. Obviously, you cannot exceed 320 um, on the x-axis, which will be this one across the top here, because that would just go off the edge of the screen. On the same th uh, by the same score, if you go more than 480, then you're going off the bottom of the screen. And of course, if you type in negative numbers, then you'll go off the edge of the screen as well. So you basically want a number range between 0 and 320, and 0 and 480. And by using these coordinates, you can position any graphic anywhere you wish. The advantage of doing it this way is it makes for a very precise game. You can place your graphics exactly where you want them. And you can expect your game to look more or less the same across any platform device. That largely concludes it for um, the set virtual resolution command. In the next tutorial, we'll go on to create our 
uh, pre-game sequence. 